Hello and welcome back to another CFD cookie. So this time we're going to address uh, post-processing power view. So I guess we need to work in a long playlist because there is a lot of stuff that you can do with power view. But what I would like to address is how to compute forces in power view. Okay, I know it is not needed any decent uh, solver will give you pressure viscous forces and so on but lately i have been receiving so many requests people that are interested in doing that so this is what i'm going to show you in this video so here we have the classical geometry here this pipe and we're going to compute the forces pressure viscous forces in the pipe the same workflow will apply with uh, different geometries, okay? And I would like to use this one later when we compute forces, but why I'm doing this one, okay? Um, yeah, it's very straightforward how to do things uh, before doing in part of you, okay? In the video description also, you will have the link to download the cases and so on. Uh, let's address some theory, okay? So let me go here and yeah, uh, here we have so basically the forces in a, in a body can be computed like this now it's the integral on the surface of the pressure contribution and viscous contribution okay it's simple as this and as i say any decent C cfd solver or multi-physics solver will give you this and sometimes i get a little bit confused why people want to do that i think a really long time ago i went i went down this rabbit hole no uh just to compute the 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 shear stresses forces but i wanted to verify something but as i say pressure is computed very easy to get the force from here to remember pressure multiplied by the area and you get the force and then shear stress is the the one that is a little bit more complicated because you need to go back to the equations a little bit continuum mechanics know the equation gradients but you can get it and you need to project the gradient on the surface that might be a bit tricky or people doesn't know how to do that so that is what i'm going to to show you okay uh and most of the time just to mention something that pressure also is the is the most dominant component okay but sometimes it can be that shear stress it is important and the choice of this case that i mentioned previously that why did, did, did i choose this case and not an airplane because in this case you will see that both component pressure and viscous are important so you cannot neglect one okay so that that is the main reason why i chose this one then that you have all the stuff that turns modeling transition point and so on but i chose this one because they are in the same order of magnitude both forces so basically pressure force can be computed like this we have the pressure field we always have it at, at the walls and in the, the whole fields and walls so there is no problem you compute the normals you dot that one and you get the pressure force in the components okay in each of the in each of the axis okay so that's why we dot it with the normal and then multiply by the add area or integrate and you will get the whole force so again i get confused why do you want to do this because the solver already will give you the forces however i can recognize now that uh some people want to plot the forces on the surface so i will show you how to do that okay because you have the pressure you need to multiply it by the area so how do you compute the area in power view and then you get the forces then to get the uh, total force you need to do a summation of pressure times area instead if you get pressure dotted with the normal you do the integral okay so you're going to get the units in, in newton so be careful about that this is what i just write what, what i wrote here then we have the viscous force this is the the one that is tricky okay so it's computed as this the steps are similar as the previous one okay so you project here you have to method so you can integrate it or do the, 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 the summation multiplying by the area and so on so it's the same stuff okay but this one require it's very t a little bit more tedious because it requires computing this one so we have the shear stresses that are equal to this we have the strain range two times mu okay be careful that mu here can be total okay so molecular plus the turbulent viscosity so be careful about that and you have this s okay this tensor that is computed like this so all these components we can compute it in part of you or we can get it from the solver so here i'm uh, I want to be also uh, uh, solver agnostic, so we have two solutions. We have one coming from fluent 
and one coming from an open file. You will see that exactly the same, but I want to be agnox, uh, agnostic in, in that sense, and it's always the same, the steps, okay? So from bus solver, we're going to get the gradient and compare the gradient part of you, the gradient from the solver. You will see that there are some differences. Maybe the gradients coming from the solver are the more accurate ones, I don't know, so it's up to, 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 it's up to you to, to judge that, no, but there, there will be some small differences. So as long as you compute that one, you will need to compute to get this gradient at the walls. But you know that at the wall velocity is zero, that, that is a problem. So I will show you this step, how to do that, but at the end of the day, this is what you want to compute, okay? X, Y, and Z component of the wall shear stresses, okay? So this is the force, wall shear stresses, as I mentioned, every distance is of the solver, multiphysics solver, is going to give you this quantity, okay? So you don't need to compute it, but for whatever reason, here you have, okay? So we're going to show you this one. I'm not going to do all the steps, just the, the X component, but it is a straightforward, so you can do it for all of them, and that's all, okay? Uh, something else interesting to mention, and I invite you to dust a little bit your continuum mechanics notes and books and so on, because this shear stress sensor, no, the wall shear stress, also you will have this component normal to the wall. That you said it's zero, I don't compute it, I would check in the source code in, in OpenFun, I think it's not computed, correct me if I if I wrong, but I think it's not computed, so you will have this component there, so you can do your math there and see how to compute that one, but you said it's zero, I'm not going to show you but just have that in mind so this being said that being said we're ready to to do the post processing so as i mentioned video description you have the link to download everything okay so i'm going to work in windows by the way but doesn't matter you can do it in linux whatever the cases are ready no need to run the simulation but in the tar files you're going to have the fluent and open phone setup so you can rerun something very important also regarding the format to open the cases now uh you can have the native format for an open phone or the native format from fluent or for whatever uh, solver but usually the native format in part of you and any other post-processing solver it is very, very slow, okay? So I recommend you to save in something else. It can be a BTK, tech plot, and site. Personally speaking, I found the, that inside is the fastest, uh, is the fastest format in part of you. So all the cases you are going to have it. So you will see here, I save the solution in inside. So there is a function object that you can convert it in open form, but also in Fluent, there is the option to convert it in inside and you save only the data that you want. The data I'm saving self-centered, okay? And from the self-centered data, we're going to expand everything. But this is a nice tip now, because you probably, you, you have realized, realized that when you try to open a big case, big case, I have to say two, more than two million, three million cells, you will see that part of you is bloody freaking slow. So yeah. That is the format that is not the, 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 the best format. So using inside, you will see that it's super fast. Okay, that's all. So let's move to the next video. And first we compute the pressure forces, the pressure components, and then the viscous components. I'm going to work with, with, with fluent first, then palabras the open form will be exactly the same, nothing changed, but just to give you some, now to compare also one solution with the other. So that's all, hope you will enjoy this video and see you next time. Bye.